By the time Columbus got here in 1492, see, people have many opinions about him, who he was or what he was, but whatever, see, he was really like the virus. Because the disease came through the wind and the water, so it was airborne in a way and water carried, so it just took the shape of a man rather than something you can't see. But it arrived. About 1100 AD or 1000 AD, the church made the decision that it was God's government. It was the authority of God on earth, so it was God's government. And at that time, the descendants of the tribes of Europe no longer remembered that they, were, that they come from tribes. This wasn't really a part of their conscious reality. Because by 1000 AD, see, they had been owned by, <laughs> they'd been owned for many, many, many generations by, by whoever claimed ownership of the land and started owning the land. And then they became, they became thieves and they became uh, serfs and they became peasants. So they really had no reality about being a part of the tribe anymore because they were just the property that was owned like whoever the landlord was or the royalty at any given time that owned that land or claimed that land. They belonged that land like all of the other natural resources of the land. So the church by 1000 AD or 1100 AD, it decided that it was now going to mine this resource. I mean, save the souls of the heathen, see. So the church created the Inquisition and basically the Inquisition was Number one is it was to change the perceptual reality of the descendants of the tribes of Europe. And so I know that by the time Columbus got here, and I, I got a pretty good idea way before that, but, but by the time Columbus got here, the idea of a human being and people in that kind of a way was no longer a part of their perceptual reality. You know? And it, the, the spirit was being eaten by disease and it affected the perceptual reality of the human. See, so when Columbus and them got here and we told them who we were, they didn't know. <laughs> well, we're the people, we're the human beings, but they didn't know because it wasn't a part of their perceptual reality. <laughs> the concept was no longer a part of their perceptual reality. See, this is what happened to the tribes of Europe and the descendants of the tribes of Europe. They, so they had no clarity about reality so by the time Columbus got here, see, they didn't know what it meant to be a human being anymore. It was just not a part of their spiritual perceptual relationship to reality. They were possessed, they were owned, they were property. You know, and, and one of the other things about this that kind of evolved out of that, I think it evolved out of that, was anyway, when the church was doing all of this to get the descendants of the tribes of Europe, all right, they, they finally figured out, well, hold it, if I want to stay alive and be a descendant of anything, I'm going to have to accept these people. <laughs> so they embraced the church because they had to embrace what they feared. So they had to love what they feared in order to survive. And what they had to love, the thing that they had to love that they feared was possessing them. So it's like love and fear and possession as a perceptual reality kind of, kind of became intertwined at that time and the human beings have not been able to sort it out yet. So that affected everyone in some kind of a way that's not been healthy for us as human beings. So anyway, anything and all of these things that have happened to us through our generational evolution has been a learning experience and has been a part of our evolutionary experience. See? But I think that we're in the right time. We're in the right place at the right time, even if we don't quite get it. Yeah, I, I don't think that we're here. There's a reason we're here. We're here at the time for us to be here. That's why us, and the lives that we have lived that brought us to this place and that we will live when we leave this place. There's a reason that we're here. And part of it is, I know we're here at the right time and we're in the right place. It's just how, how are we going to start perceiving reality? You know, and that's just really where it starts to, it starts to become more clear. Out of self-respect, we owe it to ourselves. Out of respect of self, we owe it to the selves of others. You know, to be, let's use our intelligence as intelligently as we can, as often as we can, right? It's not even saying all the time, but maybe we get there someday. To understand, you know, there are moments in our lives, there are times in our lives 